previously on Star 4 Destroyer, Band of Thieves. Tell me, stranger, what's your name? Why ruin the moment? I, I don't understand. The wings! What happened to the clockwork wings? What? How? Who could have... What? Cooper! And now, back to the show. It took some detective work, but the gang and I managed to track down where Rajan had gone into hiding. Somehow, he'd managed to transform a long-forgotten temple into the thriving center of his spice operation. And it's there where we'll find him. The jungle, too thick to drive through, forced us to walk the long distance to our target. We ran into a few problems along the way, but pushed on. For the temple was more than just Rajan's hideout. It was also home to the clockwork heart. A pump so strong and tireless, it could increase spice production <coughs> tenfold. Good for Rajan, but awful for the rest of the world. Hope he's not counting on that heart too much, because tonight, it comes home with me. So you guys know the drill, I'm gonna just jump straight into me having all 30 bottles, and I'll see you on the other side, alright? See you there. <coughs> alright, I got two bottles, and so I can assess the situation. Just be careful. If you get hurt, the nearest hospital is 106 miles from here. According to my map of the area, there should be a hidden passage into the temple behind that waterfall. Nice work, Bentley. I'll take a hidden passage over the front door any day. <laughs> for the top. Level. 
Only I can't figure out how to get in here from the temple's exterior. <laughs> that crane is keeping half of the heart suspended. Bring those photos back to the safe house. We'll really need to think about this one. <laughs> The clockwork heart is under some steep security. Hack Rajad is carrying half of it at all times. Forget it, the goods. I'll need to gather some more information. Sly will plant a bug in Rajad's office while I lift the spice operation blueprints off the spice lord while he makes his rounds. Unfortunately, while we're collecting intelligence on him, He'll be collecting data on us with an elephant-driven satellite array. Take it out, or he'll be able to intercept all of our communications. Okay, so I feel like taking out that elephant. <laughs> John is able to monitor all of our communications out here with that elephant-driven satellite array. It's pretty grim. You got a plan for shutting it down? Don't I always? Now, the local spice plants are illegal for good reason. Eat too many, and you'll go into a fit of uncontrolled rage. Take that stuff away from Murray. Oh, wait, wait, I get it. I put some spice plants in the elephant's feed bag. He chows down, gets all crazy, and then presto! The satellites in pieces. A crude interpretation of the plan, but accurate. The trick here is harvesting the spice plants. You'll have to do some serious climbing, as they only grow high up in the jungle canopy. Just uh, find our way over there.
Sorry about that, bro. Sayonara, satellite array. Straight. We're gonna bug Rajan's office with a bug? It is an elegant plan, I agree. Now pay attention. That water bug can only survive in stagnant pools. If kept out of water too long, it'll become unhappy and likely draw the attention of local guards. Hmm. Looks like there's a few pools along the way to Rajan's office. A short swim every now and then should keep our little friend quiet. Yeah, I worry about it. Still up. 
Facts. Try to hurt me, and I don't understand why. Shut up, Steve. Safe. Rajan is out for his daily tour of the operation. My sources claim he always carries three blueprints on him, which, when read together, tell you everything about his spice operation. Too bad he doesn't have that section of the clockwork heart we saw during the recon. You could just pump him full of sleep darts and we could all go home. Fortunately, my sleep darts aren't powerful enough to affect Rajan. What? How are you gonna get at those blueprints? Rajan has an insatiable appetite for Indian watermelons, which, if eaten whole, will force even him to nod off for a while. Eaten whole. Once he's asleep, I'll creep in and lift the blueprints. That's fine and all, but how do you plan on luring him over to the watermelons? 
I've equipped my sleep darts with a sonic disruptor. The strange sounds they make should be enough to lead the ever-curious Rajan from place to place. Okay, so... That was genuinely terrifying. Boss, you're gonna eat that whole thing? I guess you are. Okay, cool, 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 cool. You're gonna go to sleep? Cool, 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 cool. The blueprints! They have been stolen! Gotcha. Complete set of blueprints. Great field work, Bentley. You're really getting the hang of this. Dope, 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 dope. I've got some bad news. Rajan has gone into hiding somewhere in the temple. I guess the destruction of his satellite array and my invasion of his personal space to get the blueprint spooked him. To get his portion of the clockwork heart, we'll need to drive him out into the open. Given Rajan's spy-saddled temper, I'd recommend making him angry. 
first, we'll destroy the center of his operation, the Spice Grinder. Then we'll demolish the dam above the temple in an attempt to flood him out. If that doesn't work, I've made arrangements to exchange one of the temple's facade rubies for some high explosives, which, if necessary, we can use to flood the whole temple grotto. If my psychological profile is accurate, Rajan should pick up the other half of the clockwork heart before making his escape, effectively bringing it to us. All right. Looks like they're using TNT to create these catacombs. Maybe I can borrow some to destroy TNT. the fences. You're the demolitions expert. How am I supposed to TNT. use that stuff? It's simple. Just jump in, walk the barrel to your target, jump out, and get clear of the blast radius. I'd be careful around floor lasers, Sly. The TNT barrels won't work on them. Make sure all laser fences are operational to protect the spice grinder. visual range of the spice grinder. What's next? Rajan won't come out of hiding while spice is still being manufactured. If we destroy the grinder, he'll be out of business and have no reason to stick around the temple. Great. We do the world a favor and Rajan's forced out into the open. Start by getting a hold of that TNT down there. It's worth mentioning that guards won't be able to detect you if you stay still while in the TNT barrel. Nice. An explosive disguise. Place the explosive near that grinding wheel, and it'll be blown to bits. All right. This isn't dangerous at all. Very sound plan, uh, Bentley. I wonder if I could just take these guys out. Okay. 
Right. So I gotta take this thing all the way up there. Get hit by the lights. barrel into that basin filled with spice dust. He knows the code, got it okay. Store needs to go and then should be home free. Expecting that. Well, with that ruby on.
very annoying that that's not the way you get up there. That's a too long. that huge ruby of Rajad's for a local crime ring. In exchange for the goods, they'll set us up with a Cherry Bomb 500 for the heist. A Cherry Bomb 500? That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its moorings, you might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. with your stop move. Despite its size, that rock is really fragile. Bentley will run ahead and inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. Now, head out to our rendezvous near the waterfall. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> near flawless. I recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. Get there, guys. That was not even. Oh. Stupid so and so. Yes, 
stato giusto. Cosa che era te? Cooper Gang certainly lives up to its reputation. This is a true Indian treasure. We will honor the bargain and provide a cherry bomb 500 at the time the turtle requested. Sly, do you heal us? Then we go over there. again. Constable Mila, thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. I should be thanking you. The look on Carmelita's face was priceless. She took it hard, huh? No one likes to have their affections played with. I know, I certainly don't. Look, Mila, as soon as this India job is over, why don't you and I go out on the town? We'll dance through Bollywood and eat curry all night long. I'll keep it in mind, but first the task at hand. I've learned of a secret entrance leading to half of the clockwork heart. Legally, I can't enter the premises without a warrant. But now a thief like you... A thief like me can go wherever he pleases. I read you. Don't fall behind while I lead you to the entrance. This place is thick with guards, and standing still can be lethal. I hear that, sister. Man, I'll be fine, don't you? Still going his ass backwards way. Jesus, man. This is it. And remember, if push comes to shove, I never showed you this door. that date in Bollywood. There it is. Just like Neela said. In order to lower the clockwork heart, 
You'll need access to that control box, but it's locked down tight. Oh, I'm sure these guards won't mind though? if I borrow their keys. There it is. I had to carry it. But the size of this is crazy. Whisper in the night. Alright, the peep. Take that. Rushan's holed up in his temple. Got any ideas to force him out of hiding? My research indicates that tigers have an aversion to water. They By don't. destroying that dam, the temple will be filled with a runoff. Flooding him out, huh? Good plan. But I, I don't think your bombs are strong enough to do the job. You're they correct. Swim in it. 
Fortunately, Religious while Monitor the bug in Rajad's office, I overheard that a new autopilot attack helicopter had just arrived. It's sitting inside this truck. Stay sharp. That dam is sure to be well protected. flooding didn't work, so it's time to go the distance. Blowing up the temple's elephant mouth should turn this grotto into a swimming pool. I'll cover Murray from the chopper's gun turret while he pries the mouth open. Once that's done, Sly will need to walk the Cherry Bomb 500 into the throat. Then get to high ground as fast as you can. Rajan is sure to show up and be extra angry. Jump him, snag his half of the clockwork heart, and we're out of here. I like, jump him. I'm gonna beat this tiger up. Inspector Fox will pay for driving me from my opulent palace. This is a murder job. Let's, uh, let's sell some stuff. Swim too. Mouth for slot. Check. 
do this. Think you bad. You ain't nothing. Seeker bombs on Murray. You'll never be able to get that mouth open unless I destroy all of them. triumphs again! The mouth is open! You're all clear to bring in the Cherry Bomb 500! My spice temple ruined! I will no longer hide while you villains destroy my hard-won empire! This place is mine! Here I am king! Come, face me, Cooper! With Clockwork's black heart, I will show you true power! You are nothing! Come face the might of Rajan, lord of these hills! When we try to tick someone off, we really do the job. Yes, you do seem to have quite a talent for it. Constable Mila, 
Slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after is the clockwork part. You help me take him down, and the bust is all yours. Just try to keep up. This is it. This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours. The Murray will renew your fear. Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling. I might be big and not as smart as the other guys, but one thing I'm not is weak. Okay, I'm skipping. Dispatch this fool. Oh, you're going to get me. Get me. Fat, pathetic, weakly. Okay. His windup is crazy, though. Victory belongs to the Murray. Clyde's gonna want this half of the clockwork heart safe and sound. Clockwork's heart. Happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder! Sly's hurt real bad! Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt! Here we are, Contessa. Just as I promised. The Cooper gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Mila. Carmelita's never been able to catch the Cooper gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never... Really, Carmelita. Accept your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! A photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper! You certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela. Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes. Indeed. Can't believe it! Gagzooks. That double crossing cockney liar! Could have took us. Though statistically improbable, I had to face the facts. Neela had betrayed us, my teammates were captured, and I was all alone. While intellectually inferior, Sly and Murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest. The long walk out of the jungle gave me time to reflect, and with each passing step, my sense of isolation grew. 
Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. This was it. This was the true test of friendship. Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But first things first, I had to learn how to drive a stick shell. Work through them gears, Bentley. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. 